Welcome to the 2018 Band in a Box audio exporting tutorial. In this video, we will be going over a few different methods to export audio files such as WAVs or MP3s for your songs or your individual song tracks. First, you are going to want to open up a song. I have loaded the demo song for our grass pop style. Let's take a quick listen. Okay, so now that we have our song, we want to export it as an audio file for casual listening purposes. The first method I'll show you for doing this would be by using the wave button. When you select the wave button, you will see three options. We will start with highlighting the quick export option. Here you will see a list of four different audio file formats. Let's select wave. You will then be prompted with the file save dialog. This is where you will name your file and select the destination where you would like the file to be exported. I set up a folder beforehand called audio exports where I want to save my files. And I will name this file grass pop demo. Now just press save and band in a box will render a WAV file for you in the selected destination. This will take a few moments depending on the length of your song and the number of instruments used. Once the export has completed, you will see a box in the right hand corner notifying you that the file is ready. You can demo the file by clicking on the green box. You can also view the file's location by pressing on the folder icon in the demo window. Let's close the demo. I'll demonstrate this same export method, but with an mp3 file this time. And I will name it Grass Pop Demo 2. Press save and wait for your file to render. Creating the mp3 will take a little bit longer because the program will render out a WAV file first and then convert that to mp3. Again, once completed you will see the green box and compress it to demo the file. Now if I bring back my audio export folder, you will see both the WAV and the mp3 files I have exported. Let's use the WAV button again. Except this time, we will select Export Song as Audio File. The Render to Audio File box will open up with a number of options. The first option is Format. This time, we will choose WAVE. The second option is Channels. Here you can choose whether to export mono or stereo files. Let's just select Auto. Next, you can choose whether or not to normalize your mix. You can also split your song into one file per audio track, but I will show you this a little later. Now you can choose whether or not you would like the two bar lead in in your audio file as well as whether or not you would like to hear the drum count in. You can also include acid information in your wave as well. If you select burn to audio CD, Band in a Box will launch a program for creating an audio CD, but this is not what we want today. You can also do a batch render if you have multiple songs saved in the same folder that you would like to export as audio files. But today we are just going to export one song, so we will just simply press render. Now navigate to the folder you would like to save the audio file, name the file, and press save. Again, this will take a few moments. When the file has completed, Band in a Box will automatically open the location that the audio file has been saved to. Double click the file to take a listen. Another way to access the render to audio file window is through the audio menu at the top of your screen. In the audio menu, select export song as audio file. This time, we will select and render an mp3 file. This will bring up an additional option to select the quality of mp3. The higher you set the bits per second, the better the quality and the larger the file. Press render to create your mp3 file. Select your location, name your file, and press save. Once completed, Band in a Box will open the location of the mp3 file. 
Our third option for exporting audio files of your song would be using drag and drop. Along the top of the Band in the Box GUI, you will find a black bar that includes the names of all the mixer tracks as well as the master track. If I select the bass in this bar, it will automatically select bass in the mixer. The same happens when I select guitar, drums, or any of the other tracks. Now if I were to press and hold on the master track on the black bar, the cursor will turn into a circle with a line through it. This indicates that Band in a Box is ready to render out the master track, but needs a place to put the file. While still holding down on the left button of your mouse, you can move your cursor to the folder you would like to export your audio file to. The cursor will then change and you can release the button on your mouse. Band in a Box will then automatically render an audio file and place it in the folder you have dropped the file into. On the far left hand side of the GUI below the master track, you will find the drop section. By pressing and holding the master track once again, you can drag your cursor over to one of the audio file formats in the drop section. We will put the cursor over the wave button and release the mouse. You can tell if you did this correctly because the audio format you have dropped into will turn orange while it is rendering and turn green once completed. Upon completion, you can right click in the drop section and either select audition the file or open the drag and drop folder. Let's open up the folder. You will now see your file. You can also drag and drop to the plus symbol in the middle of the drop section. This will bring up more options for file formats you wish to export. We will select MP3. This time the orange will appear next to the plus sign and will again turn green once completed. Again, right click in the drop section and select open drag and drop folder to view your MP3. Okay, so now that I have shown you each method to export your master track, let's look into exporting the separate mixer tracks as audio files. Since we are on the topic of drag and drop already, we can start here. Along the black bar at the top of your screen, you can select any track of your choice. I will select Guitar 2 and drag it over to the drop section. As you can see on the mixer, when I drop the guitar track, all the tracks except the guitar track have been muted during the render. This will create a file that only includes the Guitar 2 track. Once the render has completed, open up your drag and drop folder again and you will find your file labeled by the mixer's track name. Let's give it a listen. It worked perfectly. You can also drag the master track to the plus symbol on the drop station and select the separate file for each track option. This will create a separate audio file for each of the mixer tracks. During the render, you will see the mixer solo each track one by one as it renders them out. It will take some time to render all the tracks. Once completed, you can open up the drag and drop folder to find your files. Let's test out the drums track. Again, it worked perfectly. Now let's go back to the audio menu and select export song as audio file again. Remember, this selection brings you to the same dialog box as the wave button we used earlier, so you can use either of them to navigate here. This time, we will select one file per track. This will split the mixer tracks and render each as its own audio file. We'll select wave file again. Press render, select your destination, name the file, and press save. This will take a few moments as it will be rendering multiple files. Let's test the bass track. Looks like it worked great. Some people may want to export their audio files directly to their DAW software for further production, mixing, and mastering. You can use whichever DAW you like, but today I'll be using Reaper, so let's open it up. First, I'm going to create a new track, then I'll go back to Band in a Box. In the drop section, there is a button that reads DAW or DAW. By selecting this button, Band in a Box will compact itself into a smaller window for better access to your DAW software. 
Same as before, we are going to use the black bar across the top with the tracks listed. Let's select the bass track, but this time we will drag the track directly into Reaper and drop it on our newly created audio track. Once the render has completed, the audio track will appear in your DAW arrangement and can be played from there. Let's drag a couple more tracks over. How about drums? And now our two guitar tracks. Now let's play them back all together in Reaper. Wasn't that easy? Back in Band in a Box, you can select one of the two boxes next to the DAW button to return to full screen mode. Thanks for watching the 2018 Band in a Box audio export tutorial. Have fun!